Good morning, everyone. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. I hope you all are having a fabulous day so far. Welcome to February. We are cruising along this year so far. Um, so I hope business is going well. You guys are all doing great and uh, things are going great so far for you this year. Um, so this week, we're going to be focusing on the property links. That's something that I'm really excited to share with you just so you have access to all of the links that you'll need for the property websites. And again, um, I've had a couple lenders reach out to me asking why What's Up Wednesday is important as a lender or a broker. Um, the reason being is because we provide it with so many tools and actually as a lender, you are providing these tools for your agents and you're building this partnership up with them. So part of the reason why we have you attend What's Up Wednesday is so you can take these great tools and you can share with them why they should be using agent marketing, why they should be using this tool. And so it's a way for you to continue to build relationships with your agents. Get them into What's Up Wednesday too, so they're able to watch the, the live sessions, if not the recordings and kind of getting more information under their belt. So that's something I wanted to share with you. I know um, there was kind of some confusion on that with some of the new loan officers I have in the system uh, or um, in What's Up Wednesday, I mean. So I wanted to share that with you and just kind of let you know um, also, some things we're working on, Emily has finished up the uh, layout 14 for the personal website. So I'm not sure if you were able to take a look at that layout 14. Um, it is a beautiful looking layout. So this is going to be for the personal website. So I know we kind of went over it a little bit last week, um, but with layout 14, it's a different style. It's a little bit different from what we've had in the past, um, kind of being a little bit more closer to the layout 13 that we have. Um, but layout 14, it's something a little different. But when you click these two different templates here, it gives you something that's a little bit different um, design-wise. You're actually able to go through and customize your own design, which is so cool. So you can change out the photos, you can change out the different information on here, really going through and allowing you to customize all of this information that's on here a little bit more simple. And then that way it saves time having to go through with our graphics team Granted, if you want to, we're more than happy to help you. Um, but I know a lot of you guys like to do more hands-on and like to go in and customize it on your own. So that's why we've built this website builder for you to be able to go in and make those changes as you feel necessary. So it's a really good tool. It's just so awesome. We've had a lot of great feedback about it. Um, you can now upload videos on some of the templates. So I know um, there's one loan officer in particular that I work with quite regularly. And he's been putting some videos on the on his background and it looks really cool. So especially with these new templates too, it's it's a great feature. So we're really, really, really excited for this. Um, and as we're continuing to get more um, improved with our IDX functionality as well, these templates are gonna be killer. So I recommend if you're looking to kind of revamp your marketing, looking to do something a little bit different, take a look at these new uh, website templates. These are really, really cool website templates. They look really nice. Um, layout 13, there's two different options you can choose from for the design wise. And then layout 14 is the newest one we have. So. Um, that's something I wanted to share with you. I know I did share that with you a few weeks ago, but just wanted to go a little more in depth on that. So um, we have that. Other than that, we're just working on some other good things. We're, our main focus right now is just getting some IDX functionalities going and just getting that a little more buttoned up. So that's going to be a huge improvement. And um, so we're really excited to get some stuff going on that for you guys. All right. So we have today, we're going to be focusing on property links. Now, the property links are always going to be located under a property-specific website. If you are an agent in the system, you can find the property-specific links under the Property tab and then under Properties. And then you'll see that you have your list of properties here. Now, you can get to these links two different ways. You can click here on this little link icon. When you click on the little link icon, it's going to take you directly to your property-specific links. So you have that way you can get to them. Or if you choose, you wanna go through the tools section, you can click here on this little wrench icon, which is gonna be your property specific tools. When you click on tools, then you'll scroll down a little bit here and you'll see it says uh, HTML website links and sharing. So that's what we're focusing on today, going through the HTML, the website links and sharing. I'm gonna explain what each one of these kind of does, how they function and how they work and how you'll be able to utilize them. So with the listing presentation, 
This is good because if you add the property in ahead of time before you go to your listing appointment, and by adding in the property, yes, you're not gonna have the full details of the home and all the, all the juicy details about it, but what you can do is you can just add in the basic address, you can add in uh, one photo, and then once you have all of that, then the listing presentation is created. So you can do the bare minimal for the property website to get that added in so you can use the listing presentation. Now, if you don't wanna do that, again, you have your generic listing presentation you can use, but this is another way to go through and advertise and show the sellers what you will be doing with their exact property. It's another way to kind of just stand above your competition and share with them. It looks really cool. And then once you actually get that listing, then you can go ahead and edit the details and add in the rest of the information and get all that juicy info in there, better photos and stuff like that. So the listing presentation, I'll show you what that looks like. This is gonna be a property specific listing presentation. So it's gonna pull that first photo that you have in the photo gallery, and then it's gonna go through all the different things that you're going to be doing to help sell the home. So the custom website for your home, and then it's gonna talk about the online commercial, which is the virtual tour. So it's going through all of the different steps and all the different things that you'll be doing to sell the home. Now over to the right hand side, we have the website link. This is gonna be your full website for the property specific website. So when you click on the set of eyeballs, it will pull up with that property specific website that you have set up. So that's just providing you with the exact full website, providing you with the URL of what your website will be. So you can use that. The next thing that we have on here is the MLS compliant virtual tour link. Now, a lot of MLSs ask for your virtual tours to not have any of your contact information. So these links remove that information and it's just the standard MLS compliant virtual tour link. Now we do provide you with three different links to choose from. And the reason being is because some MLSs require different information. So the first one is a common most used link. Usually this one works for most MLSs. But when you use this one, it pulls off all of the agent information on here. So it's just got the, sorry, the music's playing super loud in the background. Um, it's gonna pull off all of the agent information and just focus on the property specific website. So it's gonna have the welcome home, the property address, and then all the details about the property, the tour, and the gallery. So that's that. And then when you have these different links here, like this one, it says if your MLS requires the first part of your URL to be fixed which means it's not including the address in the first part. And then some require um, that there's no address displayed, so then you can choose this one too. So it really is just dependent on what your MLS requires. These are just, the difference is just the URL. The actual look of the virtual tour is gonna stay the exact same. Then you have your standalone virtual tour link. So this is gonna give you your standalone virtual tour, which is just a link to your virtual tour. Now this is going to be the branded virtual tour. You see now that it has all the agent information on here. It's got my agent info, it's got my address on here, and then it takes me to all the different options for the property website. So I can go view the tour, the virtual, or the um, photo gallery the details, the full website, and financing information if I want to. So this is giving me all of the details for the virtual tour. It's a branded virtual tour link to view. Now, the other option we have here is going to be the single property website, or uh, the single property widget. Now, this is something you can add on to an outside website. So if you have a blog or if you have a website that you manage outside of agent marketing, you can take this iframe code here, this HTML code, and you can paste it into anywhere you want to that allows you to do the frameable link. So to view what that would look like, it's gonna be a little scrolling featured property widget. So this is just an idea. And if you have multiple properties that are active, they, you can have it to where it scrolls through all of those different properties. The next thing you have is your classified HTML. So if you need the property specific HTML code, we do provide that for you within this section. So you can just copy this and then paste it wherever you need to for that HTML code. We also, over to the left-hand side, you'll see it says MLS compliant website link. Now this is gonna be pretty much exactly the same as the MLS compliant virtual tour link. We do provide you with the three different URLs. And again, it's going to strip off all of your branded information. So it will just have the uh, website information, but usually there's the agent information down here. 
we've removed that because this is an MLS compliant link. So that's the difference between when you see the MLS compliant links and then just your regular links, that's a difference. We strip off all the branding from you so it does stay compliant with the MLS. Um, and then we have social networking. So you have your one-click social media posters. So if you wanna go through and post to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or if you have an RSS feed that you're um, posting to, you can choose to do that. And then it will create a nice little post. So like if you wanted to post to Facebook, you'll just click on the Facebook option and then here it's gonna create the post. So from here, you can choose to do it on your timeline, you can do it in a group, um, maybe share on a page you manage, or you can even send it as a private message. So it allows you to go through and post a lot of different options on Facebook, and then you can type in a little message. When the consumers click here on this little property website option, it's going to take them to the property specific website specifically. So you have that for your social networking. And then we do create SEO pages for all the property specific websites. So with the SEO pages, I'll show you what that looks like. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So when you go through and you activate the property website, we create this automatically for you. So this is an example of the SEO page that we create for you. Um, so here's this, this is an exact, uh, an example of what it looks like. So just giving you the agent information and then the property details. So that's an example of the SEO page. Again, when the property website goes live, we automatically send that out for you. If you wanna send this somewhere else or use this link as an option, you can definitely do that as well. And then the last option you have through here over to the right-hand side is your post your plug. Now this is going to be your property specific blog. Get it, blog, blogging? So we've gone through and we've actually trademarked the term blogging, so it's property blogging, kind of a fun little term. We have two different templates you can choose from. Now, if you're looking for better SEO on your property specific websites, I highly recommend using this feature. So the post your blog option, you can choose layout to one or layout two. When you choose the layout, it's going to pull up with our blogging platform with some information already in here for you. Now, what you can do is what I recommend if you're gonna be using the blogging feature, definitely go through and enhance this. Keyword, keywords are huge. Think about as a consumer what you would type in to try and find your property on Google. So you would say um, three bedroom or uh, four bedroom home for sale in Laguna Beach. Uh, just kind of keywords like that. Uh, beachfront property, Laguna homes for sale, Laguna Beach homes for sale, stuff like that. You want to just think about exactly what the consumer is going to be typing in when they're searching for homes on Google. Think of that as your keywords. Those are important. So then you can go in and enhance this, and then once you've gone through and you, did, you have enhanced the blog, you can hit save. But we go through and we give you that full blog option. Let me go back to the link section here. Towards the bottom here. So we give you the, the blogging platform. We give you the set uh, kind of template option that you can use, so you can choose to do layouts one or two. And again, if you want to create a property specific blog about anything else, or um, I'm sorry, any other template or anything like that, you can go to the blogging option over to the personal tab and click on blogging and create your own blog if you want to. But these are cool because it's a nice HTML formatted blog post and then it's all directed towards the property. So it kind of just saves some time for you, but I definitely recommend going through and, um, and making sure you're going and, and enhancing it with those keywords. So those are the property specific links. I know this is gonna be a pretty short and sweet What's Up Wednesday, but I definitely wanted to bring this to your attention because these links are important. So adding the MLS compliant links onto your, onto your MLS is important. We create these property specific websites for you and give you the links to be able to utilize. So make sure you're using those MLS compliant links. Post your virtual tour on social media, create an email and send it out. All of these different links are super important to be able to utilize and something that you guys can use and having those links in your back pocket. Definitely something that you're able to use. Um, where would we use the classified HTML? So if you guys are doing any specific articles, like if you, um, you can use this for Craigslist, for example, if you wanted to, we do have a, a great little Craigslist poster but you could use that um, if you're doing any sort of HTML formatting, 
uh, you can use that post for this. So it's really just some, some websites or some different things that you guys use do require HTML formatting. So you guys can, that's why we provide this for you. So you could just copy this and then paste it in wherever needed. So, and then it creates a nice little HTML format option for you. Um, so any questions about the links, where to find them, how they work, anything like that? Let me see here. Um, plugging, is that available for landing pages? So the plugging is a property specific blog. If you wanna use the squeeze pages and create blogs, then you would go to your leads tab, create your squeeze page, and then you can go to the blogging platform and go ahead and, and do that option. Um, sorry, just reading through some of these questions here. Um, so when you push out the blog and you make it a live blog, we actually put it on our blog roll, which goes on the dashboard, and then we send it out to Google and all the different SEO sites. So you have your blog roll here. When you go through and you create a post or a blog post, it will populate on here. So other um, users within our platform can see them, but then we also send it out to the search engines to help you get SEO. Um, so there was a question asking if we record these. So yes, we do record them. You can actually have access to them when you're on your dashboard. Under the What's Up Wednesday tile, you'll see that there's a Missed It option. When you click on Missed It, you can view all past recordings. Keep in mind that there is an option to subscribe to the YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe so when a new video gets uploaded, you actually get notified. So be sure to, sub uh, to subscribe to the YouTube channel via this Miss It option here, and then it will send you a little notification when a new video has been uploaded. Uh, sorry, just reading through some of these here. Uh, does agent marketing, marketing automatically have a website on our listing? Uh, so yes, when you add the property into agent marketing, it creates a property specific website for you. So you'll be able to choose from any one of our 17 templates and then it does create a property specific website for your listing. Each listing that you add into the system does get a property specific website for you. And then let's see here. Sorry, just making sure I got all of these questions answered here. Make sure. Um, lenders website sample. Um, I don't have that off the top of my head, um, but if you do go and you need some sample website options, you can go to agentmarketing.com and we do have some examples on here. We are updating these and adding some new templates in, so bear with us. Um, but we, you can go to our examples page and view some live websites that we have on there if you choose. Are there any other questions that I can answer that you had about the, the uh, website links? Keep in mind next week, again, we're gonna be focusing on the YouTube setup. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to set up your YouTube channel and how to get those videos onto your YouTube channel. So we'll be discussing that for the property specific YouTube videos. Were there any other questions that I can answer? Anything else? You guys are awfully quiet today. I know it's a pretty easy topic. Um, so perfect, if you guys think of anything, keep in mind our support hotline number is at the top of our website. So feel free to give us a call at any time, 949-328-5050. Um, and then just keep in mind next week, we will be focusing on the YouTube videos and getting those all set up. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next week for our YouTube set it, setup videos. Thank you.